Hello everyone, so in this video I want to talk to you about how to make your WordPress 404 page editable and how can you allow your clients to use the block editor when the 404 page is reached. So let's dive in and take a look. So here we've got a standard default install of WordPress. Uh, this is just on my local machine and I've got a number of pages and so forth and I'm just running the default 2020 theme you can see uh, here we are on the home page. Now if a user visits a non-existent page in WordPress so let's just put a random string of letters in and hit enter you can see they are taken to this uh, template page that says page not found and in this instance they're given a search page now I'm just going to inspect, sorry, a search form. I'm just going to inspect the um, elements of the page here in the inspector. And you can see that the body has an error 404 class. Now that's telling me that the WordPress theme is serving the 404 page in the theme. So what happens is WordPress tries to grab this string up here. It tries to find an appropriate query, whether it's a page or a post or an archive. And if it can't find anything that matches its rules, it will say this is a 404 and then the template loading takes over and it loads the 404 template. So if I flip over to my code editor, in the 2020 theme we've got a 404.php. Now this is a template that you can add to your theme and it gets served when WordPress detects a 404, when there's no query that matches the string they've entered. So this is the 2020 version of that template. You can see it uses the normal stuff, get header, get footer at the bottom, and then it outputs some information, in this case, the page not found title. It gives a bit of information about what's happening, and then somewhere on here it puts the search form, which is here. Uh, so it's outputting the search form for that particular uh, user, and then they can use the search to find the page they're looking for. That's the theory anyway. Now, because this isn't an actual page in WordPress, there's nowhere for a user to actually edit the content of this page. So what happens if they want to say, hey, why don't you look at the latest three blog posts I've written instead of this because you can't find the page you're looking for? They might want to promote their newsletter sign up. They might want to, whatever they might want to do, they can't write content on that page because it, well, it isn't a page. It doesn't exist in WordPress as a page. It's a template, as you can see here. So how can we change that and how can we make that work better? So the way to do that, or the way I've done that, is I've used this code here. So the first thing I've done is we're basically going to allow them to use blocks. So when the 404 template is rendered, we're going to query for a page called 404 and then we're going to render the contents of that page. So the first thing we do here is to find a page in WordPress call the not found page. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the page with the title, so that's the title is 404. So the first thing you need to do to make this work is to go into WordPress, into the pages, create a page called 404. So let's do that now in here. So I'm gonna go pages, add new, and we should get the standard WordPress block editor and appear here. So because we're looking for a page with the title of 404, and that's numbers, that's what we need to make sure our title is so that it matches this page when it tries to find it. Now, what I have noticed is important is that the slug of this page cannot be 404. WordPress gets confused when the slug is 404. So what you want to do is make sure that it's not 404. And I must admit that in... Um, Gutenberg, I can't remember where to change the slug. Maybe if you want to say post, let's look. Let's go into here and go to quick edit. There we go. So I'll change the slug to 404 error. Now it's obviously it's added the two for me as well, so it might have worked as it was. Anyway. There we go. So we've got a page called 404, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some blocks on this page, just so you can get an idea of uh, when we render this in a minute, you're gonna see what the what it actually looks like with some blocks on. So let's add a paragraph. And then let's add an image. Don't know whether I've got any images in my media library. 
there we go, we've got a nice image of some trees, so we'll add that one. Uh, and then let's add a, um, well that'll, that'll do, let's just leave it as that, we'll update it there. So, we've now got a page, so this is going to return the post object of the page that I've just created with the title 404. And then what we do is we basically say, if we have a page, so if, if this returned a, a null object, a null variable, which means I don't have a page, then we don't want to do anything. So let's say we've got this page. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get all of the blocks from the content of that page. And that's what this particular function parse blocks does. It grabs the content of the post and it, it parses the blocks on that post, brings them apart into a PHP array that we can then iterate through. We're then going to set up a variable called content, which is going to be the content of our page that we're going to output. And we're going to loop through each block that we've just um, parsed. And we're going to render the block. That means that WordPress runs the block through the rendering engine to produce the output that you see on the front end, passing the block into that function and then adding it to the content that we're going to output. And then we're going to output the content. So we're just going to output the content of the blocks. If we haven't found a 404 page with the title, we're just going to output some default content very much in the same way that the 2020 404 does here. So what I'm going to do is just copy that into the template on here. Now, you wouldn't do this, obviously, you create a child theme or something, because um, you wouldn't want to change 2020. Um, I'm just going to save that. And then when we jump back over to our, our page here and then go to our page not found, what we should see, there we go. So you can now see, I've got my 404, I've still got my 404 error in the uh, body class, so WordPress knows it's a 404 page, but I'm rendering the blocks. I can put any blocks I want on this page, I could start doing some awesome stuff and, and adding blocks and so forth. So it's a really good way of doing it. Oops, I'm not getting the footer properly. Let's do that again. We'll get there in the end. Live coding. Refresh that and the footer should then display at the bottom. So you can put whatever you want on here. Anyway, that's just a really quick way of creating a better 404 page for your users on your client site so they can actually control what the 404 page outputs rather than you and your theme having to dictate what that might look like. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I hope you can uh, use that in your projects. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a different method of doing this or if you've used this and it's worked or it's not worked, let me know what you found. If you want to listen to more of us uh, on here, then please subscribe to our channel here. And if you want to like the video, if you think it's good, I'd love you to do that. Anyway, until next time, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.